Hi guys, today I'm here with my nighttime skincare routine. So I'm gonna be showing you how I take off my makeup and what goes on my face after that. I have oily, acne prone skin and I'm just kind of getting over a uh, bout of <laughs> hormonal, cystic, horrible, painful acne. So had a lot of requests to kind of show you what I've been doing lately because you've actually been complimenting my skin and I never get skin compliments. So it's very, very exciting. So I'm gonna be showing you what I use. It is important to note because I feel like a lot of people, especially on YouTube, have absolutely gorgeous skin and people are like, what's your skincare routine? But it's important to note that these people sometimes get like weekly facials or they've got fillers or whatever and like nothing wrong with that. But just because you use the same cleanser as them is not gonna give you their face, you know what I mean? So um, no fillers or anything in here um, besides a little bit of extra chubbiness. But what I do wanna note is back in February or yeah, January, February, I did start taking medication that was prescribed to me by a dermatologist so this is not the routine oh, cat hair I'm covered in cat hair by the way accurate representation of how I look at the end of the night but um, I did start taking medication prescribed by him for my hormonal acne because I want to make sure that you know that this is not what cleared up my hormonal acne this is what has now been helping to maintain my skin I haven't had any breakouts since um, I started taking that medication since that first little bit was over I had kind of a bad one about two weeks ago that's the first time in a while and this has been keeping just my regular acne at bay along with kind of helping with acne scarring and I had a lot of texture as well so really really happy with how this routine is going and uh, it's not Accutane I don't know if I really want to get into what I'm actually taking because it's kind of personal <laughs> and like if you have hormonal acne then like a dermatologist will prescribe you know like you can't get it without a dermatologist so there's no point in me really recommending it but let me know if you would like me to talk about it I'm only hesitant because I had so many people when uh, I did have acne that were like don't get on Accutane don't do this don't do that and I'm like I don't shush and I'm not on Accutane I did it years ago um, anyways Getting totally off track, this is what I'm currently using for my skincare, so I don't necessarily, I know I'm gonna get questions about dupes for these products, I don't really have dupes, but I do have skincare recommendation videos listed down below if you're not able to get some of these products in your country, but uh, let's go ahead and take off this makeup. So the first product that I'm gonna use to actually remove my makeup is the Shuomura Skin Purifying Pore Finist 2 Sakura Refreshing Cleansing Oil. I've used several different cleansing oils. This one is my favorite by far. It's super light and actually meant for oily skin don't be scared of oils if you have oily skin I really find they're helping to balance my skin and if you can see I've used a ton of this if you didn't know it's kind of like a basic rule that is really really important is to actually remove your makeup before you cleanse your face because if you're just going straight in with a cleanser um, then you're not actually cleaning your skin so use a cleansing oil makeup wipe makeup remover whatever your preferred method is but for me right now uh, I have been loving a cleansing oil so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my face should put a towel below me because I'm not standing at my sink. <laughs> There's something just so, so satisfying about cleansing oils. I like that you're not using a um, like a cotton pad or makeup wipe, but in addition to that, just rubbing it on your whole face just feels so good. Um, even you put it on dry skin first and then you eventually kind of uh, lather it up with a little bit of water and I like to concentrate just a little bit on my eyelashes as well sometimes I'll go in with an eye makeup remover depends on the day so I've just wet my hands with a little bit of water and I'm going back in for a second time it's kind of hard to talk and do this <laughs> okay now I'm just going to wash my face and I'll come back with the cleanser so now that my face is more or less makeup free, I'm gonna go in with this cleanser from Kiehl's. And I mentioned this in a recent favorites because I'm normally not super jazzed about any cleanser. Like they're just on your face for like three seconds and they'd never do really anything remarkable in my opinion to the point where I'm like, oh, you need this high-end cleanser. Like The reason that I love this one from Kiehl's, it's the Calendula, Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. Let me just put it on my face while I talk to you. It's always really weird being out of your, like I'm so used to filming at my, in my makeup room, so it's so weird like being here talking to you in a different setting and trying to like keep everything together. But the reason I love this is because if you do wear makeup, I feel like it does such a good job removing any excess on your face and really cleaning your skin getting in there it's creamy it feels so good um, but it doesn't strip the skin because a lot of cleansers for oily skins have oily skin have clay they have scrubby bits they have whatever 
And this one is just perfect and it is a higher end cleanser which I almost would never recommend <laughs> depending on the product. But the thing is, is that you need so little of it that I feel like it would last you so long. And I only use this in the night. I don't use it in the day and I don't use it every time I wash my face. Like if I wasn't wearing makeup um, today, I wouldn't have used it, but I was wearing makeup today and I really like it for kind of deep cleansing my skin in a gentle way. Up next is a toner, and I used to be absolutely obsessed with toners, especially ones that were like super alcoholy, ones that like almost burned my face because I'm just like oily and acne prone, and I was like, I wanna make sure it feels like it's doing something. But for whatever reason, for the past like six months, I've kind of been out of the toner game. I don't know why, but I do wanna recommend two that I really like, and I will do a toners video. I got actually, surprisingly, a lot of requests to do a toner video after my serums video, but I love the Origins Original Skin um, Essence Lotion with Dual Ferment Complex. This is a really nice, gentle cleanse, or sorry, um, kind of essency toner. And then another one you might be surprised is the Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner from Fresh. I think that this is so good if you have dry skin as well, but I use this sometimes only this at night and the next day my skin looks so glowy so you're getting like that hydration and the glow without it being really heavy and then i also love the vichy night peeling care i mentioned that in my last review or my last skincare routine and i love that but tonight i'm going to use the origins because i'm not looking for i'm using a bunch of other stuff on my face so i don't i only kind of like to use this on its own every so often so yeah so tonight i will use this one from origins a lot of the time i don't use a toner as i mentioned it really depends night to night and this is kind of like my most extensive routine Sometimes I like just wash my face. I can't be bothered to do anything else, <laughs> but I do want to show you everything. And this line smells so good. It smells like grapefruits. And I love the moisturizer from the pink line from Origins too. And I love their jelly cleanser for removing makeup. Next, I'm using a serum. And this I feel like has made one of the biggest differences in my skin over the past few months. And it is the Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. And I talked about this in my serums video. And I said, I know it's expensive but I truly feel like this is helping to retexturize my skin, change the appearance of it, and it looks so much better. I can feel it and I can see it when I use this. And I mean, as you may have noticed, I, I test a lot of products and, and you know, I, I try to stick to skincare as much as I can, but I'm also a product junkie and, you know, I wanna try new things. Bring it down your neck as well a little bit, especially your moisturizers. But um, this I have been sticking with nonstop and I truly feel like it's making a difference in the texture of my skin. And it seems to be good for all skin types. A lot of you commented and said, you know, I know it costs so much, but I love it. And we all seem to be on the same page there. So depending on the night, like, 80% of the time I will mix my uh, Drunk Elephant Serum in with this next facial oil that I'm using or sometimes I'll mix the facial oil in with a moisturizer if I want a little bit more hydration at night because I can kind of get away with it at night where I wouldn't really do that during the daytime. And it's also important to note the products that you're using you want to go from lightest to heaviest. So I went toner, serum, and then I would go moisturizer and oil or just oil sometimes it kind of depends or sometimes I'll just honestly mix all three together. I'm no skincare expert. Um, but like I said, you know, this is my routine and this is what I do. So tonight I'm going to go with the Sunday Riley UFO uh, Clarifying Face Oil and I have really been liking this. I was using this when I had the cystic acne and I didn't find it did much for me, but that was because it was a hormonal imbalance in my skin. They were all under the skin and there was nothing that the solution could really do for it. It had to be medication. <laughs> so um, I have been liking this now and I'm going to mix in, mix it in with just a smidge of the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration face cream and I think it is so important to moisturize your skin even if you have oily skin I truly feel like my face is now more balanced and a little bit less oily than it once was I honestly don't want my oils to go away all the way because I mean oily skin diaries where would those videos go and in addition to that the oily if you have oily skin you, you stay looking younger a little bit longer but I do want it to balance and I don't want like everything to slip around on my face and I don't want to have breakouts anymore so I've definitely been trying to add more hydration into my skin and like I said this is not my routine every night but it's kind of my routine most nights and I'll play around adding different things in here and there and I'm not really paying attention to the way that I'm applying this to my face right now I know you're supposed to like pat and stuff but I'm trying to talk and get my point across so <laughs> just keep that in mind I will also do a video on my favorite facial oils because although I love the Sunday Riley UFO, I also love the Drunk Elephant Marula, the um, Decium Rosehip Oil. There's another one that I really like, so stay tuned for that. Eye creams, 
I'm not super loyal to any eye cream right now. I have a bunch. I like the new Drunk Elephant C Firma. Um, I like some ones from Estee Lauder. I like the new It Cosmetics one. But what I'm going to use tonight and what I use about two times a week is the Laneige Special Care Eye Sleeping Mask. So this has like a little ball thing on it. And this I'll use like the night before if I'm like going to an event or if I'm filming. And I really do feel like the next day it it does add that extra bit of hydration. I know you're not necessarily put, supposed to put it on your eyelids, but I do. No adverse effects just yet. And it's kind of like this gel cream texture, a little bit thicker. And make sure to kind of bring it up around here where you can tend to get some fine lines. On my lips, I basically cannot go to bed without this also from Laneige. It's the Lip Sleeping Mask. This is my favorite um, lip mask for the nighttime. It's so good. And every time I go on vacation without it, like as soon as I get back, I can't wait to put it on my lips. So I'm gonna bring it on vacation with me this time for sure. It's so good. It's so hydrating. You wake up the next day, your lips are plump, they're hydrated. I wear it during the day, like if I'm going grocery shopping or running out and not really wearing makeup, I'll always just slather a bunch of this on my lips. It's so good. That's kind of like the extent of my skincare, but I do also wanna mention just a few products that I periodically bring into my routine that I don't do every single night, but I do wanna mention um, because they are things I use on the regular. So something that really, really surprised me that I've been enjoying is this from Neutrogena. It's their, the name is not on it, but basically it's kind of like their uh, light therapy spa controller. So they have a full mask that you can actually put on your face. I haven't tried it, I bought, I got it from them. But I never tried it because I was like, I don't know, it was just a whole thing and it was a whole mask. But this I actually really like. And I really feel like it does something for my pimples because a lot of the spot treatments that you just kind of spot treat, they never did anything for my skin because they were on my pimples are always under the skin and spot treatments, like my skin's like, Pfft. I don't care, do whatever you want. <laughs> and it doesn't listen to a spa treatment. So I really feel like this has been making a difference. You use it three times, it lasts for a minute. You just put it directly over the pimple. It doesn't burn, doesn't do anything. I'll link to it down below because I don't know the real technology or science behind it, but it does use light therapy. And I really feel like it helps um, with active breakouts on my skin. My absolute favorite scrub is from L'Oreal. This is their Kiwi scrub, which is actually made for oily skin. Not only is it adorable and looks like it has Kiwis in there, it just makes my skin feel so good. I'll use this once or twice a week whenever I'm kind of feeling like it and I love this so much. As much as I love like AHAs, BHAs and chemical exfoliants, I love to feel an exfoliant. I just love it. Even if it's not as good for your skin or it's not as effective, I really love it. This is a great affordable option from L'Oreal and I cannot recommend it enough. They have a brown sugar one as well, but um, and a few actually different versions, but this one is my favorite. Then also from Neutrogena, this is their Deep Clean Purifying Clay Cleanser Mask. This is another product that I use sometimes instead of the Kiehl's cleanser or I'll just use it as a mask, but basically it does both. It's a cleanser and a mask. Great if you have oily skin, super affordable and kind of available to pick up. And then I've also mentioned this mask before, but it is the Ole Henriksen, um, Ula Henriksen, is that what it is? The Cold Plunge Pore Mask, and I really like this. It's a beautiful blue shade, but it also has AHAs in there, which are really, really good for uh, texture on the skin, and if you have an oilier skin type. And again, this is another one of those masks that I feel like is helping with the texture on my skin. Keep in mind, if you are using chemical exfoliants like AHAs, BHAs, it is really important to use sunscreen, so um, stay tuned. If my sunscreen video is not up, I will have one listed down below that I did previously, and then also I will have a daytime skincare routine coming up too. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know down below if you have tried any of these products. And if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT. And I'll see you guys next time. My hands are full of products. Bye.